Hi guys, Brain here and welcome to another commentary video. Today we have a little bit of a different one for you today and I do mean it this time because we did a little bit of a fun experiment this Monday talking about slugging versus hooking which is run by Carnivorous which is the uh, very very prolific and very very good artist main who is posing the question what is ultimately more effective slugging or killing in turn or slugging instead of killing slugging uh, or hooking in terms of killer effectiveness. Obviously this is going to be a different experience for every killer based on power and add-ons so there doing a an example of this for every single killer and i did the xenomorph one which was really really exciting and cool and very very challenging so after 20 games i did 10 slugging only and 10 hooking only and i could not slug in the hooking games and i could not hook in the slugging games unless i had i had uh slugged everybody and then i was allowed to hook but obviously because that's because the game's over so what ended up being more effective for the xenomorph in particular let's go ahead and get into it so first i wanted to say before i even got into this uh this challenge here is that the xenomorph in particular did not seem an appealing choice for a slug only build because the Z-Morph doesn't really in any significant way uh, gel with slugging any more than any other killer does. They're slightly above average, I would suppose, over like an M1 killer because at least they have like quick two taps that they can do with the tail attack. Um, they have the ability to track people in the tunnels so they can catch people on the way to pick up a slug potentially, but they're nowhere near on the level of somebody who's actually efficient at slugging. Somebody like Oni, somebody like Twins, somebody like Trickster, Huntress, etc. People that actually excel at slugging. Uh, furthermore, the Z-Morph doesn't really have any good add-ons when it comes to slugging at all either. Um, the best I could use is the anti-heal adding uh, add-on, uh, Kane's helmet, which still, once again, by the time I had left them on the floor for a while, the mangled is on a timer, so the mangled runs out, and then it doesn't end up actually affecting anything. So it just kind of ended up where there wasn't a lot that I could do. One of the big things I got suggested was run knockout, run knockout, bro, run knockout, because knockout is like the slugging perk, but the Z-Morph is a M2 killer primarily. So uh, that doesn't really surge with my kit either. I, it's one of those things where I had a really difficult time seeing how the Xenomorph could be particularly good at slugging, but the results were interesting. So on slugging, it, the games where I was only allowed to slug and I was not allowed to hook anybody until all four people were slugged at the same time, I had a 70% win rate, uh, that meaning a 3k or more, and everything that I had lost was a 1k or less, so it wasn't like I had won 70% of my games and then I tied. No, I actually thoroughly lost those games by a lot. And the other day, slugging felt more like it was a swift test than anything else on the Xenomorph. Teams that were grouped up uh, handled slugging pretty well. Uh, even if it was like uh, a three man, it seemed like they were able to handle slugging particularly well because uh, they would just call out where they were and go pick each other up. And I couldn't really keep on top of them enough to keep them away from each other. Um, like I said, besides quick two taps with Xenomorph that can sometimes happen, um, there's not really a whole lot you can really do to keep people on the ground, especially if they do not choose to group up in the first place to make that a very, very advantageous situation for you. Uh, partial groups, whether that be like just two people together in a duo or less, seem to suffer and kind of almost go the opposite direction where it was just like almost like ca taking candy from a baby where it was super simple and super easy to defeat them, which was um, almost boring in the like the other direction of like, oh, okay, well, I'm just, I, I, this is easy breezy. I like a little bit of challenge in my games. Um, obviously, a lot of these situations was people that just didn't know better than to group up together. Uh, there was one group I remember in particular on Rotten Fields that thought it was a good idea to group up to keep people healed, but you know, with stuff like infectious fright, forced hesitation, <laughs> that obviously didn't end up working out. Um, so it almost felt like more of like a swift check and a knowledge check more than anything, more than actually being effective on the Xenomorph. So on hooking, going over to the hooking side of things, uh, my winner was actually 90% uh, with only one game that was lost, and that was that lost game was a tie, so I got a 2k. So even that, uh, I, and we're going to talk about this, that match was kind of like, probably should have been a win, but because of the circumstances of the challenge, it wasn't. So at least on the Z-Morph, hooking was far, 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 far superior as a play style. Uh, the, the ability to hook felt way, way more consistent as when somebody was out of the game, it allowed me to snowball fairly easily. And I feel like that power to have a 3v1 or a 2v1, at least on the Z-Morph, was way, way more effective and way, way more efficient than it was to just 
try to slug them all out and get them kind of like, you know, juggle them into a point where they're all on the floor. The only issue I found here was that plenty of times I could have slugged to catch a beamer survivor or another injured survivor. Uh, and I missed out on that pressure as a result, but obviously in a normal game where I'm just like the goal is hooks, I could have been able to do that. There was a particular instance in the game that I tied where it would have been more advantageous to slug an ace that was going for a flashbang save uh, and then go after the Nancy that I was after. But because there, I, it was hooks only, I, I did not end up doing that. And as a result, uh, two people did get out because he was able to go craft another flashbang, do shenanigans with that. And he got to live longer overall, which allowed him to pre pressure on the map, etc. But overall, hooking seemed better. Also, uh, there was no obviously no tunneling. Obviously, if there's no uh, availability to hook at all during the slug matches, and there were matches, whether that be on second hook or all three hooks that I was able to tunnel in the hooking experiment or the hooking half of this experiment, that did lead me to more decisive victories, because like I was saying earlier, nothing seems more decisive in the game of Dead by Daylight than a 3v1, now do 2v1, etc, etc. Overall, hooking seemed to be the better option on Xenomorph, but realistically, at the end of the day, what is actually the best, what actually works the best, is a kind of a mixture of both of these uh, that would perform best, um, where, you know, if two survivors are grouped up, whether it be they're injured or somebody's, you know, going for a flashlight or flash bang save, you down one person, go after the other, come back, hook the first person, hook them, and then you use your hook perks like pop like pain res to regress the gens as well and it's like a mixture of the two that ends up being better i know a lot of these rolls will probably be in favor of slugging especially on killers like oni or twins well the xenomorph there that doesn't really have anything that uniquely benefits it it definitely seems like doing a little bit of both is the best route if you want to get the most success on this character. But yeah, I am interested to see uh, the end of this little experiment that Karn does. The, uh, every person has to do their own experiment with this, and they have until the 27th to do that, so I can't wait to see till Karn uh, puts out the final results of all this and their findings. I would be very, very interested to see if somehow that uh, slugging everybody ends up becoming the, the better option. I don't really see that, considering that more often than not, it is better to get hooks than it is to slug survivors. Um, but I could be wrong, and I will definitely uh, eat my own words if that is the case. But we will see. But that is uh, something to be on the lookout for, which I very much appreciate uh, her for inviting me to this, to do the Xenomorph part of this uh, showcase, and I very, very much appreciate it. So, yeah. What do you guys think D is ultimately stronger in the game of Dead by Daylight? Four-man slugging and then ending the game there, or hooking survivors? Let me know down in the comments below, but that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, but... I do upload daily, so I will see you tomorrow. But if I do not, I will see you when I see you. Bye. -bye.